That's so weird. Hey guys, welcome back to another Summer, Summer Snackdown. Snackdown. I'm Xavier. And I'm Alyssa. Today we're making banana boat s'mores, and you can totally thank us later for this awesome deliciousness. Hopefully this mystery ingredient isn't capsized as boat. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> All right, it's time to sail through this recipe. Snack Attack Trivia! For banana boat s'mores, you'll need a toaster oven, s'mores maker, skewers, a knife, tin foil, a bowl, some ripe bananas, and they'll need a good curve to them, some marshmallows, raspberry sauce and chocolate sauce, some graham crackers, strawberries, and other fun toppings. So, step number one, we are going to get some graham crackers and crush them into our bowl. Yo, like I really like s'mores. I hope this mystery ingredient doesn't like mess it up. <gasps> Step two, we are going to fold and form our aluminum foil into a boat shape for our banana to go in. Go from the corners first and kind of shape it into almost like an oval. I'm not standing up. Yeah, there's no room for anybody else to be on this boat. It's fine. We'll, Mine is standing up. We'll have room for some more toppings probably. So now that our bananas are inside of our boat, we are going to slice them lengthwise so that we can cook them. And make sure you have an adult with you so you don't cut anything off. And don't go too deep because we just want to cut the skin. You know if it's too much trouble. No, 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 no. I got this. All right, guys, so now that we have our banana sliced, we're gonna cook the banana in the toaster oven at 375 degrees for five minutes. Now that we have our mittens, say hi. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna pop these bad boys into the toaster oven. Make sure you have an adult so you don't burn anything, you know? Okay. I'm gonna slide it in. There we go. That she's gonna leave <laughs> me hanging. All right, guys, so now we're gonna wait for these bad boys to cook. All right, guys, so now that our bananas are cooked, we are going to take them out of the oven using our mitts so that we don't hurt ourselves. And then we're gonna peel off the top. Whoa, those are some black bananas. Hey, it's time to peel the skin off the bananas. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. Be careful when you're taking them off because they can be very hot. Gotta do it quick. Ew, look at that peel. So how'd you do that? All right guys, now that we have the top half of our banana peeled off, we're gonna move on. The best part, roasting marshmallows. Marshmallows. <laughs> yes, all right, here we go. So we have our marshmallow roaster here. And we have our skewers. skewers. So we're just gonna put the marshmallows on the skewers and roast them with the roast. And make sure an adult is pregnant while you're roasting these marshmallows. Want a s'more? Oh, I love s'mores. Except for the graham cracker and chocolate parts. So you just eat the marshmallow? Pretty much. We are roasting. We might even be toasting. I'm so good at this, I might even be boasting. All right, that's all I got. Hey, yo, that was so good. All right, Alyssa, our marshmallows look great. I think it's time to start dressing these bananas. Look at that, look at that. Ew. We should stack ours like, like as our passengers. All right, Alyssa, these look so rocking. I'm just ready to eat them. You ready? No, we gotta add the toppings first. I'm gonna oh. stack the children with their parents. <laughs> what? Yeah, my chocolate sauce now. All right. Yo, what do you think the mystery ingredient is gonna be? I think the mystery ingredient is gonna be something very disgusting. Oh, that looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna add my whipped cream. Oh my gosh, you know what those mini marshmallows remind me of? That episode from The Loud House. Open up. They go on the Cheese. front. Yeah, they go. <laughs> Cheese. Okay, that looks disgusting, doesn't it? Oh, we're just making a whole boat mountain. It's falling. We're sinking. Then I'm gonna add some sprinkles. A little bit starch. Shout out to Patrick. Yeah. Always have to be healthy and add the fruit. We have a banana in here, so it's healthy. This is practically a salad. So I don't really like mint, but I know you do. So we're just gonna. Mmm. Alright, so you ready? Yeah. These look so good. Yeah, I can't wait to try them. Keep guessing. Remember, no cheating. Oh, no, no countdown? Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Best thing I've ever had. So, like, you think it would just be good if it was just, like, a s'mores, and then you kick it in with, like, the fruit and the sauces, and it's, like... Delicioso. Mmm. It's my favorite. Let me get you a sample. Guys, this is, like, every sweet you could ever ask for all in one. Mm-hmm. And it's healthy too, because it has fruit. Bananas, strawberry. Maybe whipped cream is healthy. It's healthy in my book. <laughs> we know. The marshmallows oozes out. But then it hits you with like the banana. It's like this flavor that you wouldn't expect. And it tastes so good. It has that like sweet flavor to it. Alright, this was so good. But you know what time it is now? It's time for 
mystery ingredient. So basically we have five minutes on the clock to take whatever's inside of these boxes and make our own creation out of it. I am kind of nervous, I gotta admit. Me you too. guys have commented such crazy stuff. Just open it already. Five, four, okay. three, two. I got avocado. I got <laughs> lettuce. That's not lettuce. Cilantro. I got cilantro. I don't like avocado, so this. I'm glad he's eating it. This is so weird. <laughs> it might taste good though. All right, are you ready? Okay, yeah. go. <laughs> Electric burner. So I'm gonna put the graham crackers and the cilantro into this pot. I'm gonna put some whipped cream in there. All right, listen, time's running out. We have to hurry up. I'm gonna go along with the s'mores theme. I got a whole storyline to mine. You can't beat me. Five seconds left. Five seconds left. Five seconds left. No, we'll add some strawberries. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Yep, these actually don't look that bad. These are really good looking. <laughs> All right, mine is gonna be way better than yours. You literally have like a plain s'more. That just looks messy. You need to clean it up. Messy? Mine has a whole like storyline and plot to it. Okay, All you wanna right, hear it? Enough with the talk. No, no, not enough with the talk. I have to explain myself. So we got our graham crackers, mm -hmm. like the sand. Then we got our avocado boats. We got an Ooh. avocado chair here. We got a stick and he's roasting his marshmallow on the fire. Not picking up what you're putting down. Not picking. Oh my goodness. All right, just by looks, you guys should comment down below whose is better. Just saying. This is basically a mixture of lunch and dinner. So you take the dinner, which is the marshmallows, and you put it on your sandwich with the cilantro and then the bread. How is marshmallows dinner? All right, whatever. Let's just taste it. Hey, sir. Let's Let's get Dessert. Em. Dessert. You ready? Bro, how am I supposed to eat this? Marshmallows and avocado does not go good. Nope. Yuck. <laughs> it looked really good. It like did. you gotta it admit. It did. It looked good. I'm gonna I'm gonna admit. It looked good. It just wasn't. Ah. Yours was like it was really good, I gotta admit. The cilantro didn't really like taste of that. It just tasted like a normal marshmallow Sandwich. I gotta get some cilantro in there to put it to the actual test. Uh-uh, oh no, uh-uh. <laughs> Are you supposed to eat cilantro or is it like decoration? Tasty. <laughs> Comment down below who you guys think won this snack down. Here's the answer. All right, guys, we had a super fun time today. Just make sure that you keep coming back. Yeah, and keep commenting down below your ideas from Mystery Ingredients. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Yes, and come back every week to see the summer snack down. Snack you, you later. later. <laughs> Peace.